Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're not already subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video. If you are new to the Career Savage community, Career Savage is all about providing relevant and up-to-date career advice for working professionals, but especially college students so that you guys can make more informed decisions for your career. Today, I'm going to be talking about how to pursue regulatory affairs in Canada. So make sure you stick around and watch the entire video. Before I get started, I wanna say make sure you are subscribed to my channel so that you do not miss any of my content. 80% of you guys are watching my content but you are not subscribed, so you're missing out on so much great information. Other videos that I've made about regulatory affairs, I'll go ahead and put them in the description box as well as include them as cards and videos at the end of this video so you can get more information on regulatory affairs. Okay, let's get started. So regulatory affairs in Canada and pursuing that as a career is very similar to the US. Um, when you're applying for jobs in Canada, the only difference in terms of governing health authorities is that the US has the FDA and then Canada, it's called Health Canada, but they're essentially the same thing with different names and obviously for different countries. When you're applying for jobs in Canada, a lot of them might say that you should be familiar with FDA regulations as well as Health Canada regulations for the main purpose that just because you're in Canada doesn't mean you're not gonna be working on projects that are in the United States or in Europe or in Japan or whichever other country that job is requiring you to apply for. A lot of the jobs that I've had in regulatory affairs have required me to work with Health Canada, the EMA, PMDA, which is in Japan, um, and other governing health authorities. So when you're applying to jobs in Canada, just look at the description, look at the job description, and they'll tell you if they want you to have global experience. In order to enter regulatory affairs in Canada, it's again very similar to the US where you do have to have some sort of scientific background. Um, so that means your bachelor's of science or your bachelor's degree in pharmacology, chemistry, biology, some sort of scientific background. You don't need an advanced degree, okay? I always say this, you don't have to have an advanced degree to enter in regulatory affairs. You can start out with your bachelor's and if you feel you wanna specialize later on and get your master's or your PharmD or your PhD, that's fine. But to enter and to find a job in regulatory affairs in Canada, you don't have to have an advanced degree. Um, but if you do, of course, if you are a pharmacist or a medical doctor and you wanna transition into regulatory affairs, you definitely can find opportunities. Just make sure you familiarize yourself with Health Canada regulations and product approvals. So when I say familiarize with regulations, what is the equivalent to an IND, which is an investigational new drug application? What is the equivalent to an NDA, a BLA? How do they regulate biologics? Um, how do they regulate orphan drugs? How do they regulate uh, regenerative medicine? Familiarize yourself with that as it relates to Canada because every country is going to be different in their application process, their timelines, um, their, even their structures on how you submit to them information, having meetings with them. It might be different from how the U.S. is in terms of um, how it is in Canada. One thing I do suggest is that you visit CAPRA, I believe that's how you say it, which is the Canadian Association of professionals and regulatory affairs. I'll put the link down below. But on that website has a lot of amazing information. There are institutions that are listed if you're interested in taking some courses in regulatory affairs and learning more about health product regulations in Canada. I definitely suggest you visit that website. Equivalent in the US, we have um, RACS, which is Regulatory Affairs Professional Society. And that's where a lot of people go through to get their RAC certification. So visiting CAPRA will give you a lot of more insight in how to enter regulatory affairs, comb through the website, get a little bit more information, contact the universities if you truly are interested in getting some sort of you know, certification um, in regulatory affairs as it relates to Canada. Where to find jobs in Canada, honestly, it's you know, LinkedIn, Google, Monster, all those websites are 100% accessible and they do have jobs listed in Canada. Like I did a soft search and I did find some regulatory affairs positions, a regulatory affairs associate, regulatory affairs manager, based in Toronto, based in Montreal, based in Quebec. I don't know if I'm saying any of these places, the names right, but um, I did find them on LinkedIn as well as Google Jobs and um, Monster. So those are definitely areas 
or platforms that you can explore to look for opportunities. As I said at the beginning of this video, entering regulatory affairs in Canada is very similar to how people enter regulatory affairs in <clears throat> the United States. Just like in, um, just like in America, we have medical writers, we have uh, people who do the clinical, we do have people who do market access, all those opportunities as it relates to the pharmaceutical industry are going to be almost identical um, in Canada. The only difference is you're just not looking in the US, you're looking in Canada. So I hope this video was very helpful for you. If you have any comments or questions about how to get in regulatory affairs, whether it's in Canada or the US, make sure you leave those comments down below. I'll put as many resources as I can in the description box. And as always, make sure you are subscribing to my channel so you never, ever, ever miss a video. If you want to hear more information, of course, you know where to put it. Comments, 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 comments. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching, guys. Until my next video. Bye.